Hi everyone, this is Amanda from Amanda's Joy of Coloring. Today I'm going to share with you my finished pages for the month of May. And I do have a lot of them this month. I have, I have completed 42 pages. So this might take a little bit. And I did a few hashtags. Not many, but a few. But let's get started. I'm going to start off with my 10 books to finish. The pages I've done in there. And then I'll show you the count on that and how many pages I got left. I didn't color in all of my 10 books to finish, but I worked on some of them. So first off, I have Color the Seasons Advanced Coloring Book by Benden. And I colored one page in here. It's this way. Colored the wheelbarrow with the birds in there. And I used my Crayola Super Tips for that one. So in here I have seven, it's got blurry. So in here I have seven pages left to finish for the year. And so I have a couple I can do for summer, but the rest of them I think are for autumn. So I think four of them are for autumn, so I might wait, or maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. So that's Color the Seasons, Advanced Coloring Book by Benden. And then I have my Patterns book by Land Doll. And this also is a Dollar Tree book. And so I did two in here. So I did this one here with this pattern with the... The black and the purples and the gray. I really like that color combo. I like purple. So we did that one. And this heart design here. And on these I use my, both of them, I use my Crayola Super Tips for those. And I only have six pages left in here to do for the year so these patterns the color by number ones they're probably going to be done here pretty soon and then i have the animal color by number by landall as well and this is a dollar tree one too find the pages did i only i guess i only did one so I did this cute, so I did this cute monkey here, and I used my, um, I used some Sharpie on this and some Crayola, so you can see I used Sharpie on the, most of it, except for the brown on the monkey, I used the Sergeant Art felt tip markers on that. So I only did one in here, but I only have three pages left to finish in here. So yeah, these are going to go quick. American Wildflowers Coloring Book by Paul E. Kennedy. This is a Dover coloring book. And I did four pages in here. And I've been going in order with these and so I did the cow lily here let me get it in in screen for you so this is the cow lily and I've been using my Fantasia pencils for the whole book so it's going to be color throughout and then I did the early azalea over here and then I also did the flame azalea 
and then the golden rod on this page, the golden rod. And so next month, I'll just continue to go in order and do the other pages as well. And so in this book, I have... It's not focusing. So in this book, I have 31 pages left of color for the whole year. Next is A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. I did quite a few pages in here, and I also did the hashtag Ever Be Day Fun in here. So I got three of the uh, two of those prompts in here for their birthday. And I'm just going to show you in, in order of the book. So at first I did... This page here with the, the cacti in the pot. And I used my Black Widow pencils for this as well. And then I decided to do the page next to it with all the other cacti. Let me take my markers off. And then I did the sloths here, dancing on the flower. And I also did the page next to it as well with the cats. And I used my Black Widow pencils on both of these pages as well. This was a hashtag ever be day fun. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. It was her birthday in May. So that's those two pages. And I did some more in here as well. I did the cats. Asian style for Ever's birthday. So for hashtag Ever Be Day Fun as well in here. And I used my Black Widow pencils and my Derwent Metallic Gold. Well, no, it was the yellow. And then I decided to do the page next to it as well. And I use my Black Widow pencils, too. So I, I really enjoy all the, the foods on these pages. I like doing them. Okay. And then I also did this page here. I use my gel crayon. For the pink in the background but then I still continued with the black widow pencils here and it looks like I used a gel a gel pen for some of the flowers cute little bunnies I wanted to do this one for Easter but I didn't get to it but that's okay and then I did the page next to it with the polar bear and the whales. Also, I used the, the gel crayon for the background. Some glitter gel pen in on the polar bears. Some gel pen here. And I think the black is gel pen as well. So, no colored pencil. It was easier to use gel pen because some of the whales were pretty small. So that's all the pages I did this month in this book. Okay. 
so I have 40 pages left to finish for till the end of the year, which is possible. I can do it. Okay, so these are just the books that I picked for the 10 books to finish. And so I did 18 pages so far in those books this month. And all my other pages, I did 24. So the total of 42 pages and there and for the whole year so far, I've done 199 pages. And so for the hashtags I did this month, the, so for hashtag color your hoard, I colored 14 pages and 14 uncolored books. Hashtag one color challenge. I colored one. Hashtag mermaid. I colored four mermaids. Hashtag May Mandalas 2022. I did six mandalas. And then I also participated in hashtag ever be day fun. And she had seven prompts. So I did seven pages. And for... Mother's Day, I colored six pages that reminded me of my mother, and I wanted to color for her. So that's the count for this month. And let me show you the rest of the books that I colored in. And so if you watched the, the video with Ever's prompts you've already seen these but i'm going to show them anyway so first we had the dinosaur page for the hashtag ever be day fun so i did this dinosaur here and i used my crayola super tips for that and some of the color went through the book but that's okay and then we have the Crayola twistables here I use for this dinosaur as well and then for prompt number two for ever hashtag ever be day fun is coffee and I did this one here with the coffee so she's drinking her coffee and i added ever's name on the mug there and so this is mid-century retro designs by robin pickens and this is a design originals and then we have coloring the 80s Relax and Rewind by Vinden. This is a Dollar Tree book. And I colored Ever's 80s mixtape for prompt number four, Music. And I used my Black Widow pencils for this. Next we have Mer Creatures by Crayola and this is prompt number five and that's for a gnome so my gnome's right there and I used gel pens and Crayola markers for this this was also for the hashtag mermaid and hashtag may color your whore 2022 as well And then next we have the prompt number six. Also, hashtag ever be day fun. And this is Halloween. And so I used I used my Ahuhu markers for this. Halloween page here. And this is 
The Greatest Hits, 100 Best Coloring Pages by Jade Summer. And then the other two were in A Million Cute Animals, and I showed you those already. Next, I have 30 Days of Creativity by Joanna Basford. I did two pages in here, and this was uh, hashtag make color your hoard, and also for Mother's Day. My mother loves candy and sweets. So I did both of these pages here. I did all the cute little candies and ice creams and then the page next to it had all the candies as well so i just tied it in together and colored both pages for that i think it turned out really good i use my colored pencils the black widows and i also use gel pen glitter gel pen for some in between and the sparkles and all the little stars i use gel pen but i really had fun coloring this i really like all the individual pictures of foods and stuff I have fun doing those So this is Creative Haven Country Kitchen Charm by Teresa Goodridge. This is a May Color Your Whore 2022 and also a prompt for me for Mother's Day. It's no hashtag. It's just things my mother likes and things that remind me of my mother. So here we have Mom's Kitchen Love Served Daily. And so my mom had a bakery when I was growing up, when I was little. She owned her own bakery, and she loved to bake cakes, pies, and cupcakes, and all that stuff. And so I thought this would be nice to do to, for Mother's Day. And so I colored this. I got a video of me coloring this. It's two parts if you would like to see me coloring this i use different sets of pencils and stuff in this as well so I, I use my castle arts and my black widows that color there is a black widow color but yeah if you like to go check that out i'll link that both of those videos down below as well next we have Zinspirations Flowers by Joanne Fink. This is a hashtag May Color Your Whore 2022 and for Mother's Day. Because my mother loves flowers and gardening. And so I just do a flower. On this, I use my Castle Art pencils for this page. And I put up here, Happy Mother's Day 2022. Okay. So this is Color Art Therapy for Stress. This was a book I got from Ollie's that was in a set with some pencils as well. I only did one page in here. This was for Mother's Day and for May Color Your Hoard. And so I did this blue flowers and some teal colored birds here. And this was with the Black Widow pencils for the whole thing. So the background as well. And my mom loved watching the birds out the window and she would put all the bird seed out there so she could see the birds and the squirrels so this is a 
Dover Coloring Book, Botanical Gardens Coloring Book by Dot Barlow. And I did the first page here for Mother's Day as well because my mom liked squirrels. And so I colored the squirrel here. And this is says the Arnold Arbitorium. But I use my Castle Art pencils for everything in, in the page. I think it turned out really good. And this is also for May Color Your Horror 2022 as well. The Magic Path by Colorama. This is hashtag May Color Your Horde 2022 and hashtag May Mermaid. And so everyone's already seen this page, but I'll show it again. That's okay. I really enjoyed doing this. This is the first page I did for the month of May. And so that's the magic path by Colorama. Next, I colored in Crayola Mer Creatures. And I did this one here with the glass bottom boat and the mermaids. I used my Castle Art pencils for this, and I used um, the Crayola skin tones for all the skin on here. I really enjoyed coloring this one. So on the waves, I used a white gel pen to cover up the black lines, make it look more like the waves in the water. And this is Crayola Mar Creatures Coloring Book. Next we have Creative Haven Magnificent Mermaids by Marjorie Sarnot. This is hashtag May Color Your Horde 2022 and hashtag Mermay. So I did this page with um, the jellyfish here and the three mermaids. And so for the skin tone on these, I used the Crayola skin tone set and just picked three different skin tones. I wrote everything out on here, what I used. So I used the skin tones for the Crayola Colors of the World, and then I used my Castle Art pencils for the mermaids and the jellyfish there. And then these colors here I used are the style model. I got a spotlight video of those. I picked those up at... Ollie's. I showed you those on another video so I can link that down below of those pencils if you like to use those. They're more of a pastel color and so I wanted to use that to do the bubbles. So over there at Pitsy Project she did a video showing how to do bubbles and so I kind of copied her tutorial on doing the bubbles. I'll try to link her video as well down below. But these bubbles seem kind of small, so I couldn't do the the gray in the middle like she was doing. So I need to try it again with some bigger bubbles as well. 
There they go. But I really enjoyed following along with Pixie's projects. And so this was for hashtag mermaid as well. And I'll make sure I link all of those videos down below for you guys. And this is Magnificent Mermaids by Marjorie Sarnot. Next, I did a... Oh, my books are falling over now. So next, I did a mandala in here for hashtag May Mandalas 2022. And I this is also an uncolored book as well. I did a couple in here. I'm sorry I didn't get to post everything on Instagram like I should have. But I really got busy this month. I'm surprised I got as much done. And so this is just done with a jelly roll pen. And that's the one for hashtag one color challenge 2022. That M Beans is hosting as well. And then I did this mandala here with my glitter gel pants. And I liked how this one turned out. And this is Enchanting Mandalas by Bearings. And this is a book I picked up from Ollie's. It's a nice find there. And then next I have two more books of mandalas. I got the 30 Unique Mandalas Adult Coloring Book and the 20 Unique Mandalas Coloring Book. And these are both by Don Moore. She brought both of these out in the month of May and I really enjoyed coloring in these. And I hope I get to color in some more. But let me show you what I did. I did some of these on some videos so if you like to go back and check out those videos for this book i think i did this one i really enjoyed doing this one and how it turned out but all the all the glitter is is coming up it's really glittery but i like it And then I did this one here. This is a one color. And this is fun. These are just so relaxing to do. And so this is out of the 20 unique mandalas with the black background. Adult coloring book by Don Moore. And then this one here is the 30 unique mandalas by, by Don Moore. And so I did the title page here. I used my, some of my markers and some gel pen on it. And I did this mandala here as well. I like how she's got where you can write what you used on it, but I didn't, I didn't use it. And then I did the next one, and it's all one color, and I used the blue, the blue gel pen on that, glitter gel pen, and I really like this one. So I might try to get into some of these other books for next month too, but I got her new book in as well, so I can't wait to get started in on that one. And then I colored in 50 Ocean Miniatures. This is also a buddy color with Michaela, Michaela Dodge, but she moved in May. And so she hadn't got back with me. So she probably still unpacking her books and stuff and getting her house set up. And she also gifted me this book. So this was a gift from Michaela as well. Thank you. 
And so we plan to color these fish here, which I had fun doing these. And so I use my castle art pencils and some Dollar Tree gel pens on this. And so I just want to get a little bit close. I just outlined some of the lines with the gel pen to brighten it up. And then the dots on the curl there is all gel pen. And it just makes it stand out a little bit more. So I really like doing this one. And so this was also a hashtag color your hoard 2022 for May. And this one here is the last one. So we have Joanna Basford, Ivy, and the Inky Butterfly. And we did the title page. This was a buddy color also with Michaela and one other of her friends. We're doing it with her as well, I think. But we did this one here. And I used my Castle Art pencils and my Derwent gold and green metallic pencils on this. So that's the metallic one right there. And I like how that come along. And so that's the end of my finished pages for the month of May. So I got, I got a lot done for the month of May considering how busy I was. I'm not sure if I'm going to get as much done for the month of June, but we'll see. Thank you everyone for watching.